Hi guys, it's Jez from Windows Central here, and I just want to give you a quick look at Readit for Xbox One. Now, Readit is a Windows 10 universal app for Reddit. It works across Windows 10 Mobile, Windows 10, and now Xbox One. It syncs your data across all three devices. It has lots of the new uh, anniversary update features, such as session handoffs. And yeah, this is Readit. Come and check it out. So Readit joins Baconit as one of the best Reddit solutions on the Universal Windows platform and it works in pretty much the same way as it does on PC. Uh, similarly to Baconit, it uses this, um, this uh, joystick bound cursor for navigation. You click on posts like this using the A button on your controller and it loads up over here. Using the uh, left joystick controls the cursor, using the right joystick uses scroll functions. Um, and also swipe functions. So the the touch screen swipe controls which let you swipe between posts can be used on the on the right joystick like so Now all the features of reddit are available in this app. It's a fully featured reddit client So you can upvote posts downvote them you can do uh, Session handoffs using this system over here. So if I click on open on other device and then select my PC like so Uh, read it has now booted up on my PC. Uh, I can't show you that obviously on the video, but it has booted up. So that's a really, really awesome feature. And it works in the other direction as well. So if I find post here, uh, and if I go to on my PC, open on another device, and then Xbox One, as you can see, it's loading up the post now from my PC which is an awesome feature especially if you if you want to share things with your friends you know you could do group reddit sessions uh, <laughs> at someone's house using this system everyone sharing off read it off their windows 10 mobile devices i don't know who would ever do that but it's probably something that i would probably do we'll just have to wait and see so yeah uh, this is uh, pretty much exactly the same as, as, on, as it is on PC. It's a free app um, supported by ads, although it's completely free on Xbox One without ads as well. Uh, you can, um, you, on the Windows 10 PC version, you can buy it and to remove the ads as well with a very reasonable uh, in-app purchase. Um, all the features are here. Inbox works. Um, you do get notifications to the Xbox uh, message center when you do receive messages There are some settings as well. Obviously some of these won't work because um, we don't have things like uh, You know, we don't have live tiles on Xbox one yet and we don't we uh, we can't save images to the hard drive yet using the Xbox one so the view key opens the menu on this app and the menu button oh, it acts as a long press or a right click um, if you try and save pictures, it doesn't work because the Xbox One doesn't have access to that feature. You can swipe left and right using the right joystick as mentioned. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It works exactly the same way as it does on PC. Some features don't work because they're not available on Xbox One, such as image saving and live tiles and that sort of thing. But mostly it does work really well. The notifications system works exactly as you'd expect using the Xbox One's Action Center. And the coolest feature about it is that session handoffs that I mentioned, which allow you to send uh, your session from your phone or from your PC over to your Xbox One which is really cool for sharing content if you're at somebody's house, for example. But yeah, that's read it for Xbox One. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Follow me at Twitter, at Jez Corden, and I'll see you next time.